Some say the future of the lightweight division will be on display. A pivotal battle of rising stars. Already, the owner of Rafa Garcia has had fight fans waiting to see him compete in the honored prospect, Nazrat Hakparaz. Speeding toward UFC wins, and after delivering victories against Thibaut Guti and watching what he does next. Coming up next, Nazrat Garcia. I no YouTube for this guy, but he's been staying up in Southern California when Cub Swanson got the call that his fighter would be making his was about to endure. He said they when he did wake him up, they were excited, celebrated tonight. Brendan. Thanks very much, Heidi. He's 12 and 0. Just on Friday, Michael, what can you tell me about Rafa Garcia? He says pound for pound, he's the strong. Listen, if you look at Rafa and the way he fights, it's clear to me that he's a grappler. No mistake. Every time he fights, he wants to get his opponent to the ground. He hits like a truck. And if I'm in there, I'm trying to take that guy down as well. Doesn't get the first takedown in a lot of cases, but he will shoot again. Get you to the UFC debut. Far away from Nasrat Hakparas, and look at the mean mug in the octagon experience to go along with it. This is UFC walk number seven for the 20. He's a guy that really does take advantage of what Jake Shields work with Kamara Usman, has spent time using his reach to fight in the way that he does. He thinks that he has the best coach, his training partner, as a a tremendous coach, so he's doing all that side of things. But he, and he has the punchy power. I mean, he goes out there, he lets his hands go, and he's really dangerous matchup for Rafa Garcia, but as we know, Cub Swanson's very, very... Germany, but of course, repping the Afghani flag always. And all of those coming by knockout when he connects. Brass 25, Rafa Garcia 26. Hank Brass is three inches taller. They got a joke. And now five fans, we are set to go with the next fight. Honor. He's a boxer, grappler, standing five feet, seven inches tall. Ways and no defeats. Presentando el hijo invicto desde Mexico. Gifted Garcia! Oh, yeah. Honor. A Muay Thai fighter, standing five feet, ten inches tall. He too, with three defeats, he is the fighting pride of Hamburg, Germany. The referee in charge of the action is Chris Tognoni. In this matchup, Camila Oliveira. There's the heavy favorite, minus 550 in the gray. Nazrat Hakparast and on the... ...the distance. Smart thing. That's what you want to do. You want to pressure the... If that's your style of takedown. Clash of styles, Hakparast. Yeah, Nazrat, he gets the job done with the hands. The only in his fights, you see hardly any kicks. Does it all... With nice counter right hand, though. Look at Rafa Garcia, and you see how comfortable he is in the stand-up right to this point in... He's 12 and 0. He's fought some tough guys in his career. Oh, wow, that is a heavy left cross from Hack Paras. He also has a win over Esteban Payan. But this isn't powerful and believes in his power. A lot of times, when you get athletes, find those shots that end tonight. But right now, <laughs> Garcia's right into it. He landed a knee on the break, though, and it definitely got the attention of. But this is good for Garcia. Nice presence. Garcia weathered the zone. We're halfway through round number one. Well, Hakparas not being stationary. And if you're Garcia, you want to see him get confidence in a stand-up fight. Oh, oh my goodness. Another big one. Hakparas is going to get his faculties back. He's going to blow off the cobwebs. Like he was going to shoot. Yep. And then threw the overhand right. That was beautiful. Yeah. And Bilal Muhammad, that's what he does all the time. He dips down like he's going to go for it. That same takedown that Piotr Jan was doing last week over and over again. Balance there by Garcia. The major out of reef, as it's called in judo. Oh, I've, it's happened so many times. I'm like, yo, <laughs> hey, how are you doing don't that worry, track? Don't. That was beautiful, Mike. Thank you. I still won't remember. I'll still call that. Another body kick. We've seen Gaslam go to the wall on that several times. You know, this is really good for Garcia. I mean, listen. You know, he's not coming into this one. Had the reputation of the harder hitter. Yeah. The, the, the game doing well. It's Garcia that's actually landed the cleaner, heavier shots. It allows him to feel comfortable that it's going to be a stand-up fight. The better hack for us. Watch your fingers, okay? Keep them in. Keep right here, right here. Point. Okay. You're doing great. Let's be smart. Take this water. Because you were, you're trying to throw heavy. Okay, you're trying to match him. You're trying to keep your strikes. He thinks he has your timing now, so switch it up. And try, let's try to get uh,
Edwards will face Bilal. Remember the name, Mohammed. Stay with us here on ES between Nazrat Hakparast and Rafa Garcia. And some hey, you done through the point it. now. Loved that it. says to me that they've had conversation. Rafa did try to take him down, and that's why yeah, he couldn't, couldn't get it done. You see, correct. Nazra, uh, sorry, Rafa's going to try and get that lead leg on the outside of it right now. Minus 550 before the fight started. A lot closer. Like this is always value for money. Always no, great to watch. Illegal. But I'm telling you, toe to toe with Nazra. Yeah. 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 Left hand from the southpaw position and just keeps touching Hopper. Mixed in the elbow really nicely there. And as the fight progresses down a little bit, I mean, it's only natural. However, he did fight. You always want to be in shape. You always want to be in the gym. Pardon me, Brendan. Good, yeah. Thank you very much for pointing that out. I just saw February. I thought it was this year. So, and in the second round, he oh. seems to be doing better work. He backed him up against the fence. I'd like to see him try and shoot. No, it's a beautiful combination there by Hack. Yeah, he started to let the hands go. He's found the comfort level. Number two. There it is. Like, throws to the body. Good, good job there by Garcia. Change. Out for Hack Paras to feel too comfortable. Yes, to reap. Major <laughs> out to reap. Thank you there, Mikey. Whoa, whoa. You haven't got a. Look at the straight left hand, man. The straight left hand by Hack. Nice uppercut. There it is. Yeah, that left hand. The body once again. Look at Garcia. Garcia is, is, is a terminator. Hard one. A lot of his game is based in wrestling. I'm trying him right now. Yeah, but to be honest, he hasn't come close to a takedown. He yeah. The legs are, or, you know, like start to secure a takedown. So, yeah. As you can tell, he's really starting to feel it. A couple of those takedowns. Happy hands. And cutting him up with the right with that left hand, man. Just that elbow as well. And the uppercut, right? Everything off the, that left hand is. Well, seconds take away of round number two. Third round coming up. Take your time. Take your time. Last round coming up. Okay. He's, he's hitting your body more than you're hitting his, okay? I need you to hit his body. Leg kicks, grab his leg, wrestle, okay? You got, you got enough in the tank? I know you do. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein. After some hard hitting action through 10 minutes. Yeah, listen, Garcia is still very much in this fight, but at far more frequency and just the body language. He looks happier. Terribly, and it's a left cross that gets him back out. Yeah, I've got to say, Garcia. And he never oh, takes a back. Look, look at that left up. Mikey, the one thing that Hack Ross does with the left. That left. That's it, Garcia. I mean, this is a great fight. That shot, that uppercut again. I'd like to see Garcia go. He's open, you know. Swing that left hook, he right to the liver. Body kick with the left. And that's kind of open things up top. But here's movement there by Hack Ross. Yeah, that was beautiful movement. Really, really. Fitzy is because it's coming straight up, right? He's not wrapping it around like a traditional. There it is. You see that? See yeah. how it's coming straight up? He's not throwing a, a, a roundhouse kick, which Rafa being bloodied, uh, battered a little bit. Across. Halfway through the third. Looking forward, though. Yeah, absolutely. Garcia's got all the ingredients you want. I mean, he's tough. Oh, when he watches this fight, he took it on sh short notice. He's, that's, why, that's why he's landing so frequently. Hack Paras and his movement is outside. Left hand comes. Steps outside. Left hand comes. And now, Nazra just being a matador. <laughs> leading with that left cross is Hack Paras. <laughs> See a quick look at the clock. They throw Rafa's right, right into Hock, Hack Ross's power. Well, I think this is going to, as I say, 30 27 for Hack Ross, but Garcia has impressed me a lot. Oh, Hack Ross has gotten hurt bad. But a very, very tough weight in terms of up and coming prospects to watch, just 25 years old. Supremely confident, as he should be. Swinging right to the end, and we'll get the official decision when we come back.
and Munich at all now. He could have missed with that. Mixing in those kicks as well. Thing into every shot. Bing, bing, bing. Finds the target and then gets out. Rafa Garcia. And we're yet to get the decision, but I'd be very surprised. 120 total strikes landed for Nasrat. Those are 30, 27, 29, 28, and 29. Jack Perez! Well, Nasrat has.